I get this question all the time. Can I just get the CompTIA Linux Plus instead of the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin certification? In this video, I'm gonna break down which certification is better, how they really stack up against each other, and which one is actually gonna really help you land a Linux system administrator job just by getting the certification alone. So before I dive into the certification, some people might not even be familiar with what Linux is. So I'm gonna break down what Linux is first, then I'll dive into the certifications. Linux is a family of open source operating systems Systems that's primarily known for its kernel, which is the core component that manages system software and hardware. And Linux is found pretty much everywhere. It's used in the cloud, it's used by the government for all of their government systems. It's also used literally anywhere that you look at. Pretty much everything runs on Linux. And since Linux is the backbone of pretty much the entire world, it's extremely important for you to learn Linux as an IT professional. So if you eventually want to get into cloud, or if you want to get into cybersecurity, or if you want to do radar system engineering like me and work on embedded systems, you definitely want to learn Linux. So let's get into the breakdown. Which certification is better, the CompTIA Linux Plus or the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin certification? And first, we're going to go directly to the vendor's websites and talk about what they say that the certification is for and the objectives that the exam covers. So first, let's get into the CompTIA Linux Plus. According to CompTIA, the CompTIA Linux Plus validates the skills administrators need to support Linux systems including cutting edge technologies that help automate and orchestrate business processes. This certification ensures that tech professionals have the necessary skills to secure the enterprise, power the cloud, and keep systems running. What's covered inside of the Linux Plus certification, here are the exam objectives. The first exam objective is system management, which covers 32% of the certification, which goes over Linux basics, file management, storage tools, processing, networking, software, and configurations. The next Next exam objective is security, which covers 21% of the exam, which covers best practices, identity management, firewalls, remote access, access controls. The next exam objective is scripting, containers, and automation, which covers 19% of the exam, shell scripts, containers, version control, infrastructure as code, and orchestration. And the last exam objective is troubleshooting, which is 28% of the exam. So this covers storage issues, network issues, CPU CPU slash memory issues, user access, and system D. So if you pay close attention to what CompTIA says that this certification does, they say that it validates the skills that you need to support Linux systems as a Linux system administrator. I personally don't believe that's what the Linux Plus does. I started studying for the Linux Plus certification because CompTIA was offering $50 beta certifications. And as I was studying for the certification, utilizing pocket prep, and just going over the different exam objectives, and what's covered in the exam, there was a lot of information that I literally have never seen. And I've worked as a senior system administrator level two before. And there was a lot of information about Linux that literally does not help with actually performing the job as a Linux system administrator. And to me, that is really the biggest difference between the Linux Plus and the Red Hat Certified System Administrator certification. The Linux Plus certification is all multiple choice. There is absolutely no hands-on portions of this exam whatsoever. And if you know Linux, if you've ever used Linux before, you know Linux is all about the hands-on skills. It's all about what you can do on the keyboard, navigating through the Linux system and the Linux directories, and being able to actually perform different Linux system administration tasks. This certification does not do that whatsoever. And on top of that, the Linux Plus certification is pretty expensive because CompTIA has recently gone up on all of their prices. Now, the Linux Plus certification costs $300 $90 and it will not get you a job just because of the fact that it's all multiple choice. There's not a single employer or recruiter out there that will look at your resume, see that you have the CompTIA Linux Plus and think, yeah, this person can definitely be a Linux system administrator. That will literally never happen. So to spend $390 on this certification that will not actually help you land a system administrator job, I personally don't think that it's a good idea. Even with me buying the $50 beta, I felt like I was wasting my time on this certification and felt that I'd be better off just practicing for the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin certification. Now, some people might be wondering, well, what is Red Hat? Red Hat is a different distribution of Linux because remember, Linux is open source. Anybody can create their own Linux operating system. So Red Hat has created their own operating system for Linux. And this is what's primarily used by the government and a lot of different commercial companies because they provide premium customer service 
excellent customer support. So if something ever happened to the system, you could always call Red Hat and they would be able to send out their technicians and their professionals to help you get your servers back up and running. And since Red Hat will send out these professionals to help you and they provide support, of course, Red Hat is not free if you wanted to use Red Hat at a commercial level. But let's say you just wanted to learn Red Hat on your own time at home. You could always make a free Red Hat developer account and you can get a Red Hat account that you can use on your own servers at home to learn Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And again, you don't have to learn Red Hat Enterprise Linux. There are many different flavors of Linux out there. A lot of professionals prefer to use Kali Linux for cybersecurity. There's also CentOS, which is basically the free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. There's Rocky Linux. You can use any of them to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. But when it comes to Red Hat, and since they're so known on the commercial level and they're respected by the government, Red Hat offers their own specific Red Hat certifications. So the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin Certification, also known as EX200, this certification proves that you can perform RHEL system administration tasks and there's no doubt about it. So let's head over to the Red Hat Certification and see what their overview is for the Red Hat Certified System Administrator Cert. So Red Hat says that the RHCSA is for an IT professional who has earned the RHCSA certification is able to perform the core system administration skills required in Red Hat Enterprise Linux environments. The credential is earned after successfully passing the Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam, EX200. So here's the overview of the skills that are covered for this certification. A Red Hat Certified System Administrator is able to perform the following tasks. Understand and use essential tools for handling files, directories, command lines and environments and documentation. Create simple shell scripts. Operate running systems, including booting into different run levels, identifying processes, starting and stopping virtual machines and controlling services. Configure local storage using partitions and logical volumes. Create and configure file systems and file system attributes such as permissions, encryption, access control lists and network file systems. Deploy, configure and maintain systems, including software installation, update and core services. Manage users and groups, manage security, including basic firewalls and SE Linux configuration. And finally, perform basic container management. As you can see, just from the description on how Red Hat describes this certification, it's completely different from how CompTIA describes theirs. They talk about how you're gonna be creating, managing, deploying, and performing different system administration tasks. That is the main difference. So this Red Hat certification is much, much better than the Linux Plus because it's literally all hands-on. And I also believe it's a four hour certification as well. So when you get into the exam, you get your own Red Hat sandbox environment and you'll be tasked to go through different Red Hat system administrator tasks throughout the exam. So you're just working your way through these different tasks. And once you complete all of the different tasks, you have completed the exam. And you don't even need to complete all the tasks 100% correct to be able to pass the exam either. But this is a great certification to prove to employers and recruiters that you actually have the skill set. If you want to take it a step further and you want to also learn automation skills with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, what you can do is get the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification, which is all focused on Ansible. Ansible is a great skill for you to learn because you want to be able to automate your system administration because you may be working in an environment where there's hundreds of Linux servers. And so instead of you manually logging into each server and manually making updates, changes, patching systems, and also changing permissions, you can just utilize Ansible playbooks and run automations just throughout the entire Linux environment that you have set up at your job or even at your home. And where the world is heading, having automation skills to support infrastructure is gonna be extremely important. So it's great for you to take a step further and also go after the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification as well. So the cost for you to get the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin Certification is $500, but it does come with a free retake compared to CompTIA, which does not come with any free retakes whatsoever. You have to pay additional money to take a retake. And also when it comes to the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification, that's gonna run you $400. But again, it's going to come with a free retake. I definitely highly suggest that you look into these options if you want to become a Linux system administrator, or if you wanna have a strong foundation into cloud, cybersecurity, and even embedded systems engineering. So if you're at the beginning of your career and you wanna have a strong foundation in Linux, I definitely believe that the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin Cert is the way for you to go because it will help you land a Linux system administrator role. So there you have it. That's the real breakdown 
between the CompTIA Linux Plus certification and the Red Hat Certified Sysadmin certification. The RHCSA certification combined with the Security Plus certification is a great pathway for you landing your first GovTech role as a Linux system administrator. GovTech recognizes and values both of these certifications. My student Stefan following my blueprint and getting the Security Plus and then also combining it with the Linux skills that he got from Yellowtail Tech that helped him land his first six-figure tech role completely without having any experience. I made a completely free course for you that breaks down exactly how to get into GovTech step by step. Click the link in the description below to watch it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.